Hello, my name is Joe, and welcome to another edition of Joe's Super Fantabulous PC Gaming Channel, where I'm here in Planet Base, the out space, outer space building and uh, economy simulation game where you go to different worlds and try to build viable colonies and, well, try to keep everybody from dying. I'm having fun here trying to get my final achievement. Oh, it's not showing it, but I actually have all of these achievements, so... I guess we're having a little uh, glitch with uh, speaking to Steam at the moment. But uh, the achievement I'm going for is the Dark Moon Challenge. So, well, I expressed our colony to complete the Dark Moon Challenge in less than 70 days. So, let's see. Let's see. So, we need to get 300 colonists to come out to a moon that's way outside of the normal shipping lane. So there's no tourists and there's no trade ships. Uh, it's just us uh, working hard. And to get the achievement, we have to do it in less than 70 days. So we have nine days left to recruit, um, let's see, what is that? 74 colonists? So I'm trying to keep the colony to the point where it's nice and appealing. Oh, and I saw a ship just take off, hopefully they didn't deposit anybody bad. <laughs> Unfortunately, our colony is only considered decent. I want it to be considered good so that we can get the, the most people here as possible. And the colony conditions are judged on basically the overall happiness of the colony itself. Okay, good. We have water extractors that are pending construction. It's just a matter of uh, availability of raw materials. You know what, we'll go ahead and uh, here, let's see. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're using more water than we're producing, but we have a sizable reserve. So I'm not worried about it, actually. Yeah, we're currently not producing any power since this planet has no atmosphere. So there are no wind turbines. And the only thing we have is solar. And right now it's sundown. So no sun, no power. Okay, good. We have another biologist joining our team, and it sounds like we need more spare parts. Uh, spare parts availability is probably, here we go. It's just a matter of making sure that these workshops have the mater raw materials necessary to make the spare parts. So, we'll get them supplied so that the spares can be made so that we can maintain all of our uh, solar cells here. If they break down or, you know, start not working as well, they won't be able to produce power at peak efficiency when the sun rises. Uh, that could be bad for the colony, because the days are short, but the nights are very long. And we have to suck up as much power as we can with what little sunlight we get. going through the water here, but not too terribly. We'll get around to building additional water extractors soon. Speaking of raw materials, we're trying to keep these, uh, well, these bioplastic processors fed. You know what? It might be time to shift our manpower. We're adding more and more uh, for workers to do, and we've been skewing towards biologists because at one point we were having an issue with the colony in 
in terms of keeping everybody fed. Why don't we change it? We'll still take in biologists, but we can use some workers as well. You know, maybe an engineer or two. <laughs> oh, and here comes our next ship. Now, if we can keep these ships coming down rather regularly, uh, it bodes well for reaching our achievement here. There we go. There's a worker. So we need workers to man the processing plants for both bioplastics and for um, refining raw ore into metal ingots. But we also have workers work in the mines. Now, currently, these mines are being manned by uh, drill bots, which is good. But, oh good, all of these mines are automated at the moment. Okay, drill bots again. Oh, we finally found one mine that had a worker, but he's like, nah, I'm off shift. I'm... <laughs> So there's our one worker who's been working the mines. But to be honest, I like it that way. I'm trying to get it to where we have enough drill bots in circulation. Um, oh, quite a few of them are down for maintenance. So All of these drill bots will be headed back to the mines. That's all they do is they, they mine, they come and get a little maintenance, they go back to mining. So this frees up the workers to uh, work in our processing plants refining bioplastics and, and uh, metal ore. Okay, so we have uh, another water extractor up. This should take care of our water problem. And just in case, uh, I plan to just put up another one because I know it will continue to be an issue as we add more people to the base. So more colonists equals more people using water fountains equals a uh, need for, well, more water. So might as well get ahead of the problem if we can. Oh, a big ship. Tell me this has got two or three colonists. It'd be nice if it was more like five, but... Uh, two. As long as we can keep them coming down regularly. Okay, power storage is low. But the sun is almost up. We have a uh, power collector, which is about to be constructed. But you know what? Let's queue up some more. Power never goes out of style, either. And if we run out of it, everyone dies. So... Just queue up as uh, a few more here. I was thinking I'll, I'll just have as many collectors as I can. Oh. Now, unfortunately, the collector that I want to put here doesn't fit. So we'll need to finagle things a little bit. Um, oh, it went for a second there. It was lighting up. This is a little planet-based hokey pokey that I like to play, where you say, you know what, I'm thinking of putting something here, and it clears away some of the debris on the surface for you to enable you to be able to build there. Okay, so that they're not spreading all this stuff out, we'll prioritize one uh, collector over another. That way they can go ahead and concentrate materials and get that collector up. Oh, here comes another ship. I'm liking how regularly these ships are coming down. 
we could get our achievement. Okay, what have you got for us? That looks like... Is that an engineer? No, it's a biologist. And a worker. Good, good. Welcome to the Dark Moon. We're over on water again? But we just put up an extractor. So it means 75. Well, of course, as each colonist lands, uh, <laughs> the demand on the water system goes up. All right, let's continue to build extractors. Um, let's see. Oh, well, we have a second one queued here. And it looks like it's already got all the materials here. So it's basically fully funded. It just needs to be assembled. These small little satellite facilities out here are designed to basically keep the biologists near this lab. So they have entertainment, they have food, they have a place to rest. So if they can stick near this uh, lab here and generate uh, tissues for us. Uh, you know what, let's make another connection so that there's not a single point of failure for all of these to connect into the base. Well, and I... Okay, yeah, there's also a connection here, too, so... It's just in case some meteorite comes down and bullseyes a connection, I don't want it, us to suddenly have, like, a water crisis or something. Oh, here we go. Here's another ship. The colony had gotten off balance earlier to where things were looking bad. Nobody wanted to come here. And so it's good to see all these ships landing in uh, such a short space of time, indicating that, uh, yeah, see, since our welfare is good, that's attracting more people here. Of course, we have to keep up with the needs of all these colonists that are landing. So food, you know, water, entertainment. Speaking of which, hmm. I want to make sure that we don't get off balance in terms of our food generation. I was gonna say, it would be a bad place to generate some starch and have it fed straight into bioplastics processing, but we're already producing so much excess starch that we have two bioplastics um, uh, processing facilities and they can't keep up with it. Of course, it might just be that we don't have enough workers uh, on them. Yeah, see, this one's running at, at uh, almost capacity. There's probably going to be another worker coming in to tag in on this machine so that we can have them all running at once. Good, and if we have excess bioplastics, then that means that all of the stations that use bioplastics should be fed. Uh, yeah, so right now we're just short on metal. Uh, but that's because we're doing all this construction on the surface. We'll catch up. Oops, here comes another ship. Okay, another worker. Well, even if it's just one, that's one more than we had. Okay, good. We got one collector up. 
Here goes another. Let's prioritize this one next. It only needs one more to be complete. Since our metal processing team seems to be doing such a good job, you know what, let's take advantage of it. We'll also put up another solar panel. After all, we have a bunch of power collectors to uh, fill up when the time comes. Let's queue up one more over here. Now, I found out the hard way, the very hardest way possible, that uh, running out of power is death. Um, it's also bad for the colony, because uh, we're getting right here to the end, and I don't want us to get hit with some blackout because we expanded too rapidly, uh, and as a result, our desirability goes down from at least our good status here. Wow, we're down, well, we're down to decent. Probably people being tired. Oh, speaking of which, you know what? We need to add more birthing facilities. I know we have not kept up with providing people with accommodations. Because we've been adding colonists, but not adding beds. Good, more workers. See, these cabins are all fully utilized. We probably need more. In fact, I would say almost certainly. Hmm. Let's see. Can I cut through this? I'm trying to make more buildable area here, but we've got this mound here in the way. So we can use that same trick uh, from earlier where we say, well, I'm thinking about building here, and we start cutting away as it uh, helps us make connections. Well, actually, you know what? Here, let's leave that. I'm not actually going to build this, of course, but... Whoops, my little planeteers don't know that. They're pretty motivated to help me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just trying to make some more buildable area for us. Okay, I want to make sure that we're not getting attacked. This would be a very bad time to, whoops, have an attack. And that's exactly what this is. All right, everybody inside, this is a big one. There's like seven of these guys or six. It's hard to tell. They're all kind of on top of each other. All right, we'll take advantage of things by shutting the mines down. Sorry, Drillbot, I... I would happily leave you outside, however... 
I just want to get everyone inside for this. Their ship abandons them here, so they have only uh, one choice. They have to kill us in order to survive. But uh, we're not going to even let them in. Well, power storage is critical. That's fine. We'll go ahead and we'll shut down all of these mines and save some power. Okay, you guys are not coming in here. Ah, oh, unfortunately those power collectors and this uh, solar panel did not get finished. So they won't be getting charged up today. Bots have been doing a good job. Look at all the ore that's piled up outside these mines. Whoops. Oh, no. Almost got in there. <laughs> have to be quick. Um, had me worried for a second there. All right. Let's go ahead and shut all the other airlocks off. So we're basically pulling the power to these airlocks to effectively lock them. Oh, but we have new colonists landing here. We'll go ahead and we'll have this airlock open so that they can get into the colony. Meanwhile, our intruders are making their way to the other side of the base, hoping to get into an airlock over there. Uh, if I've made sure not to forget any airlocks open this time, we should be okay. I just don't want them killing anybody as we're getting close to our achievement. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, go ahead and burn up your O2. Have a nice jaunt around the base. Okay, now as all of our personnel are safely in the base, we can shut down the alert because they can't get out. And uh, our attackers can't get in. Meanwhile, this uh, makes all of our personnel available to work in our processing plants. So we can, uh, or building robots, you know, doing production. So our engineers and workers can concentrate on their uh, primary specialties rather than uh, other things outside the colony. Okay, let's see, are we... Oh, our status went up to excellent. That means more ships. I guess we're doing a good job of keeping up with uh, everyone's needs. That's actually the first time I've seen it get up to excellent. One big help is probably the super bar here. So the mood of the colonists directly affects the, how our colony is perceived. And so as we get a surge of people who are like, I am tired, I need some kind of relief, we've got plenty of capacity for them to come park their butt on a stool and drown their sorrows in alcohol. Oh, we have here new biologists. Fantabulous. Whoops. And the meteorites are always like to say hello. Always nice to see them too. I was gonna say, what is our current coverage? 84%, huh? Okay, so let's get our new biologists into the colony so that they can uh, tend to uh, our laboratories and... Uh... Where are you going, guys? Come on in. Oh, but the colonists are going to try to dive out that door, so I'm going to say, yellow alert, stay in the colony. You guys, get in here so I can lock this door behind you.
what the, whoops, oh. <laughs> I can turn off the yellow alert, but I have to remember to power off the airlock. Okay, meanwhile, our hostile attackers are on the surface here someplace. Uh, probably wandering around, looking for a way to get in. Oh, there they are. And they're having a little oxygen problem. What a shame. Now, they have no way to force their way into the colony, so we have to let them in for them to cause mischief. So we simply don't. <laughs> uh, we're low on storage space. Well, probably time to build another storage dome. Good. Since we're excellent, we are getting uh, more uh, more colonists. Uh, the bad part is that we have some bad people out here, and I can't open that airlock if they're anywhere near it. Well, you know what? It looks like my colonists are going to beat them to it. Okay, so yellow alert again. So that says come inside, and there's only one airlock, so you have to come in here. So we'll shut the door behind you. Cancel the alert, simply because it's noisy. And we don't need it while we have everyone inside. Oh, music to my ears. That is the sound of our intruders dying. Well, I mean, they're passing out from lack of oxygen, but they're about to die. So close enough. So we are reopening for business. Everybody can go back outside and get to work. So we'll see about finishing up all that construction. But, uh, oh, wrong button. Uh, Re-enable the structure. Yeah, I was prioritizing the mine. I was like, no, no, uh, I don't need to do that. This airlock. Good. The metal processing team was able to uh, catch up on, well, processing metal. So that should be what we need to finish out our various bits of construction. Almost certainly. Okay, what do we got? Another worker. Excellent. So, eh, couldn't stay excellent for long. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, food levels are going down, so I'd like to get this uh, biodome online. Since we were able to produce some uh, metal there while the uh, visitors made us uh, come inside, that uh, allows us to finish this uh, construction off, and we'll be able to... Uh, leverage all the biologists we've been recruiting in order to grow more food. I want to make sure we don't get off balance and get into a situation where we can't feed people because we are surging in terms of population. We have to keep up with food and water. Oh, and uh, space for them to rest. guys hopefully we're going to make some more robots here we could definitely use their help drill bots uh, carry bots actually you know what let's switch this one to a constructor bot oh yeah and think about a new storage dome
ships. I see a ship landing. What have we got? Another worker. Good, good. Ah, oh, this might be very doable. We have one week to recruit enough people to uh, make our achievement. It could happen. Let's see, um, I do the little usual vegetable thing, lettuce, tomatoes, um, onions, and top it off with, uh, you know what, mushrooms. Uh, if I can get the mushrooms in the right place. Okay, so that one is full. So let's activate. Oh, it won't connect. Guess there's not enough room there. Okay, we're low on storage space, partly because we have caught up on our bioplastics production, so let's help with that. There's lots of things we can use internally for bioplastics. Okay, let's see. Friend or foe? Friends, good. Activate that. Okay, so the cabinet is completed and is pressurizing. And we're going to queue up building a whole bunch of beds. The advantage of the cabins versus the dorms is that Although they are lower density, because each uh, colonist gets a nice big bed, they get a slight morale boost um, while they're uh, sleeping in a big bed. And for the number of colonists that we have, um, I'm, I try to use cabins wherever I can in order to supplement uh, the overall happiness of the colony, as it were. And we also have the bars and the... Uh, multi-dome in order to uh, keep people entertained, plus a generous amount of uh, television screens uh, wherever I can stuff them. But you still get people who are tired and unhappy, and uh, the morale goes down, and so we need to find ways to keep them happy and working for Planet Based Corporation. Okay, so storage is an issue. And, uh, since we have plenty of bioplastics, hey, let's go ahead and throw it up there. Oh, you know what? Speaking of plenty of bioplastics, and maybe this will be the one thing that puts us over the edge. Oh, wouldn't it be nice? Um, let's build a pyramid. It requires a lot of materials. So I hadn't considered it until now, but it will add to the prestige of the colony and maybe encourage other uh, people to come here. Oh, and since we're adding more colonists, let's go ahead and fire up these reserve oxygen generators because the density in these areas is going up. 
So I want to make sure we don't have uh, uh, oxygen uh, <laughs> supply issues. any more of this off. It's just a matter of being tenacious. Here, let's... We have to indicate that we want to connect the structure before it allow us to put another one here. I'm trying to get it to allow me to put a connection between these and have it run through this mess here so that we can shim it down. It's basically death by a thousand cuts. every little bit that we're able to uh, get off of here. And different structures will yield different results. Whoops, we have another ship. Let's take a look. Good. More colonists to join our team. Hmm, we are losing the daylight and these power collectors are not filled. We need more solar cells. Okay, that is a little concerning. Well, we, we have expended our services, so we basically increased our power consumption. So. So much for all those reserve materials. We're going to burn all that stuff up and then some. I don't want us to have uh, power outages right here on the finish line, then have everybody get upset because they're in the dark and they're not being fed and, you know, basically have an excuse to at the last second not have that last colonist I need show up and join my colony. And you guys drown your sorrows all you want. The alcohol is, flows freely here on the Dark Moon as much as you want. Okay, the dorms. Wow, yeah. See, we we definitely needed capacity. We, we put this up and it's already full. And they're running for that cabin too. So we're, we're short on bed space. That's probably part of the problem. making sure that we have enough uh, accommodations for everybody. Ah, uh, and here comes another attack. And it's a big one, too. Right at the finish line here. These guys want to make, uh, whoops, make trouble for us. Uh, no, no, yellow alert, please. Shutting down the mines. Well, actually, you know what? Let's leave those bots on the surface. They could continue to work conceivably. I won't worry about them. It's the humans that I want to get off the surface. That's it. After all, they need oxygen. Lock that. Okay, 
we're going to shut down these mines here. Well, unfortunately, those drill bots made it inside. I would have stopped them if I could. Let's see where that is. Oh, okay. This is why we have redundant connections. So that uh, when there's a meteorite impact on a connection, we don't have uh, that problem. Oh, we have one human colonist on the outside. Okay, let's cancel the alert. This worker needs to get inside. I'll figure out where he's going and... This is still open? I must have missed one. They're probably all heading towards that. I need to figure out where this guy is going and get him inside. All right, so back to yellow alert. He's like, well, Joe, all of the airlocks are closed. Well, you know what? I will open one just for you. I know. It's uh, You'll have to come all the way back over here. I know you're honked off about it. But I need you to be far away from our attackers so they don't get in. Oh, there come all the drill bots. <laughs> That's okay. The drill bots can stay outside. As soon as I cancel the alert, they'll go back to mining. and They don't need air. Oh, here's another worker I didn't account for. Oh, he must have just been dropped off. Okay. Now this guy, he is like, man, I am tired of this planet. I am hungry. I am thirsty. I need air. I need sleep. It's like, you know what? I, I tell you what, you can take the rest of the week off. Just come in here and add to my, my total. Okay, Drobot, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. Everything is just fine. In fact, here, I'll, I'll turn the mine back on, and the bots can get right back to work on mining, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, power storage is low. Yeah, we did not fully charge. Whoops, that's one of my workers, isn't it? What are you doing outside? He's going to die. What are you doing out there? Oh. All right, you know what? Time for a little uh, shell game here. Again, you'll alert. Get inside. Now here's how the shell game works. Our attackers are faster than my colonists. And they're they're because they're motivated to come in here and kill everybody. I've decoyed them to this airlock. They'll get here, find that the airlock is closed, and they'll go someplace else. Meanwhile, my colonists will be allowed inside. Ta-da! As will the uh, colonists who just landed. Eh, unfortunately, it looks like I'm pulling the bots in too, but I need to get my human colonists in. We've got to keep our totals up. That's the whole point of being here. Uh, this bot needs repairs. Oh, so does that one. I, I guess we'll let them in too. I was going to let them stay on the surface and work for me. Well, these guys can. Here, you get inside and get fixed. These guys are in good shape. They can stay out there. Okay, alert is canceled. And the airlock is sealed. Our attackers are not getting in here. And our drill bots can go back to work. 
that are already outside. Meanwhile, the drill bots that require it are getting maintenance. So that they can uh, remain productive. And uh, hopefully our engineering team will uh, take this opportunity to build some more robots. Because the more we have robots supplementing our workforce, the happier everybody is. Oh, we have even more colonists. Excellent. All right. Again with the yellow alert. I know. It's an old song here. Open the airlock so they can all make it inside safely. Those drill bots really want to come inside. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? Alert canceled. That that's what I was hoping to hear. So it looks like our attackers have expired. Or, well, they're about to on the surface. This is, uh, I guess, one aspect of Planet Base that never made sense to me is... Uh, okay, we have a reputation score that indicates what kind of a colony this is to come to live at. And that affects how our colonists are recruited. But shouldn't we also have a reputation score based on how successful attacks have been. I mean, if I'm like a would-be space pirate and someone's like, yeah, we've sent uh, 30 ships down to this one base and nobody came back alive. Want to go? It's like, oh yeah, sign me up. I want to go to that place. That sounds like a great place to attack. Okay, good. More colonists. Oh, we have five days to recruit 51 people. We could do it. Okay, can we get this connected, please? Good grief. Let's wait for some engineer to get out there. Oh, the super bar is busy. So this was a bar that I set up where it has uh, two large bars filled with nothing but drinks machines producing alcohol, feeding a third large bar, which is nothing but seating. And this place is busy all the time. Okay, good. Now we have a, a large storage dome. And, hmm, you know, I'm thinking... Is this close enough? Oh, it is. Let's make a connection here. Uh, we lose a screen, but it gives us another route so that this doesn't become some dead end. That way uh, people can get back and forth. It'll also allow us to pile up, say, vegetables, which can be taken in for uh, meal making or uh, drinks. All right. Now the pyramid is nearly complete in terms of funding. You know what, because uh, the pyramid could help us, let's go ahead and prioritize the pyramid. Oh, I forgot to, uh, no, not prioritize, uh, reactivate the mines. Okay, at least we have another solar panel up.
You know, my one lament here is I think I have not been building enough robots. I think if I concentrate on more robotics, the um, status of the colony would have been higher for a longer period of time. See what we've got. Okay, looks like another biologist. Excellent. Ah, so much for all those surplus materials. Well, we still have surpluses on bioplastics, but eh, metal, as usual, is the issue. But I know metal processing is on it, chewing that stuff up as fast as they can. I was thinking to myself, these satellite facilities could actually be expanded. Um, well, of course, I don't know that we're going to need to because we're running out of time. And we need the materials to finish up uh, everything else. Oh, there goes the pyramid. So the pyramid will add prestige here that uh, I'm hoping will induce uh, 47 people to come down here. Oh, here we go. Good. I was hoping that it would be three. Three seems to be the maximum number that you can get with uh, each ship that comes down. I've been hoping to see more than one ship show up simultaneously, but so far they haven't. It either seems to be one or the other. Oh, come on, you're not going to connect the pyramid? You could at least connect it. It's not like you're starving. Ah. So let me guess, I'm not getting a prestige benefit from... Well, no, actually, I guess I am. The prestige went up, I think, in the moment the pyramid was erected. Yeah, 30 prestige. Maybe it doesn't require power to be prestigious. <laughs> I don't know if it actually makes a difference, but I thought, uh, eh, just in case it, it would, right here in the home stretch, we could always use more prestige. Whoops, we are low on power. And it is quite a ways until dawn. Yeah, I bet that guy's unhappy coming all the way out here. It's really a job for a bot. Okay, the good thing is that we will have two new solar panels to greet the dawn, so I'm hoping that should uh, put us back on course for power generation.
panel built. Our power levels are running down fast. Are those the last two collectors? Well, we've got a little bit in reserve in these, but yeah, we could see a short blackout here in a moment. There's plenty of food, and it won't last long, um, well, in terms of the power outage, so hopefully it won't negatively affect the colony. I would hate to get slammed in the dirt here right on the finish line and have this make the difference between someone... Yeah, there goes the power. But here comes the sun. Come on, sun. We need you. Okay, and here comes the sun. So, solar panels are coming online. Power generation is coming up. We are charging. Okay, so it was a very brief power outage, but any power outage can be bad because you know oxygen's not being generated. And uh, what the? What are you doing in there? This guy's gonna kill himself. How the heck? You idiot. You know what? Let's recycle the storage dome in order to save this moron. I need every one of my colonists. I can't have this kind of nonsense. You're lucky I need you for my achievement. Ah, look at this mess on the surface now. Oh well, it will help us with new construction. Let, let's take advantage of this. Uh, turn a negative and make it into a positive. So as I was mentioning, I was thinking that uh, we could take these satellite facilities and expand them. And since we already have the materials on the surface, we can leverage that. Okay, good. More colonists. built but it's not connected oh well they'll get to it when they get to it okay it's good to see all the power collectors filling up but there are still quite a few more that are empty I'm a little concerned about that don't want to run out of power during the night. In fact, here, I'm thinking we'll queue up another one. <laughs> Prioritize this construction. Collector up. Forty colonists to go. Oh, 
Okay, that is pressurizing. We're adding colonists so quickly, I know that we need more space for them to be able to rest, so. The good thing is, is that we have plenty of bioplastics right now, so we should be able to uh, get those beds made fairly quickly. Canteen's ready for assembly. Bar will require just a bit more. Before I will be able to put the storage dome back, all of these bioplastics have to move. So that's why I thought maybe it was a good opportunity to do some construction here on the surface. You know what? Here, I'll at least declare this. That way they can move a bioplastic over here. Yeah, there's the possibility that some dummy can wall himself up here again. I'll have to keep an eye on it to make sure that they don't do that. I was going to say, please don't be an attack. Not right now. We've got stuff to do. Whoa, we are way over on the water. solar panel is nearly ready. It will be uh, online. Yeah, see, we didn't finish uh, charging, so that's why we're building another solar panel, as we couldn't even fill up the collectors that we have. Must be this one. Okay, this canteen will actually be all meal makers. Well, we'll also add, uh, whoops, water fountains. This is another reason why uh, <laughs> we're uh, tapping very hard on the limits of our water production. ship. I love the frequency of, of these uh, ships landing right now. We need it. Good. More colonists. Heck, at this point we have so many bioplastics, we could always make another pyramid. do it someplace, um, well, I was going to say near an airlock, but it doesn't look like there's any building space near any airlocks. Nah, we, we won't worry about it. We'll, we'll consume plenty of them if we can get these uh, other constructions finished. Of course, it would soak up all this stuff here on the surface. Instead of having to wait for them to figure out where they want things. You know what? Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do it.
My guess is that because the uh, storage dome is filled, that's why we don't see the colonists taking the bioplastics off the surface. There's nowhere for them to go. So by giving them a, an exterior construction project uh, that will induce them to pick them up and at least move them to the construction site so we can put a storage dome back up where it should be in the first place. Oh, hey, I could even cancel the pyramid project if I wanted to uh, afterwards. Well, no, I'm not gonna, going to. We, we have plenty of bioplastics at the moment. <clears throat> I'll just get that storage dome back up here. Okay, since those meal makers are going up, these can go away. And in their place, we'll see about putting up uh, tables. Now, first of all, let's see. Will it allow me to put a table up right now? This one it will. This one it won't. Okay, so sometimes I guess there's an object density limit where they want the screens out of the way before they'll let you put up a table. Now let's see if we can put the screens back. Okay, this one can go back. And that seems to be the only one. So this will give us meal makers plus seating over on uh, this section of the colony. Oh, there's a ship in port. Please don't tell me it's an attack. It's a good thing we noticed. It'd be bad to uh, miss this, especially right at the end. I can't have these guys coming in here and tearing up this place just as I'm getting to the very end here. Well, they're just going to help us save power. Power storage is critical. Uh, oh, whoops. Got to close that. Shut these guys out. Uh, they're going to take too long. I'm going to have to close it. Dang it. can continue on. There we go. And we got the colonists in. Excellent. Uh, let's see. You know what? I want that drill bot to stay outside. Shut down these mines since they are not in operation. And we're going to shut down all these airlocks. Oh, you know what? Speaking of mines, I guess we should leave one open. Yeah, well, um, leave this one on too. That way the drill bots have some place to go once they come out. There we go. Eh, unfortunately, the colonists are making for this very distant airlock, so I have to wait for them to get here. As soon as I can get them inside, I will lock the airlock behind them cancel the yellow alert and the drill bots will get back to work and they'll happily drill away while the rest of the colony is uh, safely on lockdown <laughs> the drill bots are having a little parade here on the plus side, we're inducing our uh, attackers to uh, kind of burn up some O2 on the surface. Oh no, a 
that's another ship. Well, I mean, that's a good thing. I need them. Here, I want them to go to that airlock. They should disembark and, and go to the nearest airlock. Get inside, get inside. Yeah, we need you guys. We're right at the end here. Day 67. We're trying to make it to 300. Oh, look at that. That time we got four. We are glad to see you. Welcome to the Dark Moon. Okay. All the humans are inside. The alert is canceled. The bots can go back to work. At least I thought they were. Oh, yeah, but that's a bad guy. <laughs> We don't care if Anastasia here uh, dies. We want her to. Oh, here comes another ship. What have we got? Now, I want the bots to go back to work, but I need to compel these uh, new colonists to come inside, so. Okay, two of them. Over this way, guys. They're like, well, what do I do? There are no airlocks open. It's like, well, I've got one open just for you. Now, if you can just get here before any uh, bad people do, whoops, uh, they're not going to beat the drill bots. Uh, well, you know what? I can force the drill bots to go someplace else. Let's have the drill bots uh, go over here. Oh, no, 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 no. I wanted you inside. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And now it's closed. And let's see. All right, let me make sure I didn't leave any airlocks open. Get back to work, drill bots. That, that was just a test. <laughs> Wow, we are only 25 away. Can we do it? Okay, got a couple biologists. Whoops, here come our attackers. Close are they? Ah, they're about to drop dead. Let's not worry about it. In fact, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and open the airlocks. Because I don't think they can make it there without dying. right. So they're going to collapse right outside of an airlock, which will reactivate, but no one's going to help them inside. They could just lay there and die. After all, they came here with malice in their hearts, so they deserve to become a part of the soils of this dead planet. Okay, meanwhile, if we can please get these bioplastics moved out of here. I can finally put back my storage dome. Okay, I just want to make sure. 
it's not back-to-back -back attacks. I, I've never actually seen that happen, but I wouldn't put anything past Planet Bay, so I'm trying to keep an eye out. Let's see, did anyone wall themselves up here? No, it's not finished. Yes, I know. Ah, there we go. One more bioplastic, and then I'm guessing you're coming for the last one. So we'll be able to queue up a storage dome here. Finally. Great, a nice big ship. This is going to come down to the wire. We have three days. Oh, good, it's got four colonists on it. I think we can recruit 17 colonists in three days. I'm pretty sure we can do that. if these pyramids require any power. I guess not. They're not juiced up, apparently. Good, our status is excellent, so people should want to come here. Plenty of food for everybody. Plenty of alcohol, too. We also have a little non-alcoholic entertainment, although you'll notice that the multi-dome is never as popular as, well, the super bar. Alcohol beats uh, non-alcoholic entertainment every time. <laughs> uh, I don't know, it seems like everybody in Planet Base has a drinking problem, doesn't it? Okay, let's see. What have we got? Four more. Oh, fantabulous. Yeah, if we can just keep it up there at excellent. I guess excellent uh, causes the ships to bring four colonists at a time. Okay, the large bar. So the large bar is going to be comprised of all drinks machines. I want the libations to be flowing so that everyone says, man, this is a fantastic planet. I love it here. You should come on down and join us. Now, there's a few people who aren't too happy, but that's okay. Once the uh, once they get inside, they can go have a nice drink at the super bar or any of our convenient uh, other locations. Turn those frowns upside down. Okay, good. Managed to do that without walling themselves up. Two more. Wow, we are right there, huh? I think we're gonna do this. I think we're gonna do this. 300 colonists in less than 70 days. Well, 70 days or less. <clears throat> okay, the connections are going up. 
So let's recycle these drink machines. They will be replaced by bar stools <clears throat> so that we will have seating for uh, everyone. Good, and the bioplastics to put the uh, furniture together are already on site. Ah, and a new day dawns. See all those solar panels ready to suck up the sun. Fill my collectors with power. Ooh, wow, did we make it through the night with all this power? Or did these just fill up? I, I think they... I think it fills from over here first, so... Yeah, we did all right uh, in terms of power through the night. Good. Oh, look at that. Nine colonists to go to the achievement. And we still have three days. Well, okay, two days. Um, we can do this. If I sound excited, it's because this is actually the very first time that I've gone for this achievement. I was thinking it was going to be really rough. And yet, it looks like it's within reach. It would be nice to be able to get the achievement on the first try. Okay, hopefully we can get some vegetables stuffed into these things. Or make everybody happy. Oh, I think here comes uh, the first batch of vegetables. Well, wait a minute. What, are you going to eat those? Oh, those must be meat products, actually. Yeah, carrying uh, vitro meat to the meal maker. Okay, well, we need some vegetables also. Oh, yeah, the nearest source of vegetables is pretty far away. Wow, people are bringing their own drinks for someplace else. Oh well, at least it's providing overflow seating, apparently. Yikes, look at the super bar. Oh, and we have our other pyramid up. I wasn't expecting to build a second pyramid, but I figured, eh, why not? Um, so that brings us to, well, a little bit more prestige. Yeah, we are still considered excellent. Oh, more colonists. Fantabulous. I didn't even see that ship land. I'm glad you guys are on our side. Six to go. Six colonists recruited in a day and a half. I think we can do it. At least I hope so. If I get this, this will be the last achievement for Planet Base. I will have them all. And like I said, it would be uh, rather nice to get the achievement on the first try. Oh, here comes... Whoops, don't, don't set the game speed up. Um, here comes more colonists. How many do we get? Just one. Oh, you're teasing me, Planet Base. Come on. I was hoping for two or three, but... On storage space. So assemble my storage dome, and that'll take care of itself. Since we have so many bioplastics, we're not going to be able to finish this because uh, the achievement will uh, overtake us, but. We'll go ahead and we'll declare, hey, what if we built a large biodome? It requires, well, only seven um, bioplastics. It won't even make a dent in what we've got, but it seems like a lot. Uh, we could declare two. Hmm. Oh, 
oh yeah, the food levels are dropping. You know, it's actually <clears throat> not a bad idea. Whoops, I see a ship landing. I don't need to be attacked at this uh, right on the precipice of victory here. Oh, we got another guy. Oh, come on, planet base. You know I've earned this. Oh, we, it bumped us down to good. One day left. Well, actually two days. As long as they're recruited... By day 70, I think we're okay. I'm trying to remember, was it before day 70? Or by day 70? Okay, this should take care of our overflow, at least for the moment. Oh, wait a minute, did our, our level go down because I'm working the colonists too hard? They're all bitching and complaining. Like, this guy's a slave driver. It's like, yes, we have stuff to do. There's always stuff to do. colonists and we've got this and we're still on day 68 just two more I know you guys are mad that I'm putting you to work but just get it done all this starch. I, I can't believe that this processing plant is sitting here idle. I guess they must be transporting materials uh, rather than uh, working in my processing plant, which makes them unhappy. Like, I gotta walk all over the base with this stuff. It's like, well, I am trying to build some more bots for you. If there are two colonists on this ship, we win. Objective complete. Ooh! Intergalactic high five. You completed all planet-based court challenges. <sighs> you know what? I'll continue just so that I can save it. I did it in less than 70 days. Come on. Oh, yeah. I, I did it. It's it's lit up. So, I have all the built-in challenges. I should get Hyper Challenger also. At least I think so. Oh, I see. It, I guess it's currently uploading? I don't know. Got every built-in challenge. Hmm. Well, here, maybe I stopped it too quickly. I'll give it a second. And it's like, well, you know, you've got all these challenges done. But, um, okay. Alright, I'll just say quit, because I have it saved. I want to see that hyper challenger light up. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, I've had a lot of fun with Planet Base. Um, and so the Express Dark Colony, that, that, was, that was the first time that I tried it. So yeah, it was less 
than 70 days. So I guess you could do it all the way up to the 70th day, but I got it on, I think that was day 69. Well, we've noticed that uh, sometimes there are a little synchronization issues with the achievements, so... You know what, here, I'm going to try something real quick. Since we have it saved, I'm going to exit out. I'm going to give um, Steam a moment so that it uploads. I want to see that achievement actually appear. So PlanetBase synchronizes with the Steam Cloud. And here, let's fire it back up now that it has uh, uploaded the data. Hmm. Well, it still looks great out, but uh, who knows? Maybe there's like a maintenance thing that checks uh, your status and then awards Hyper Challenger. So we'll go ahead and we'll end this video here and uh, I'll keep checking back to make sure Hyper Challenger does in fact light up. I've got every built-in challenge they have, so I should get Hyper Challenger too. I want them all. All right, well, I hope you had fun with me here uh, in Planet Base. This video ran a little long because I was on the edge of my seat all the way to the end. I wanted to wanted to get that challenge uh, lit up. So uh, hopefully eventually it will uh, give me the credit here. I want to see that lit up. <laughs> Join me next time here on Joe Super Fantabulous PC Gaming Channel where we'll have more fun. Well, maybe not in Planet Base. Uh, I don't know. Uh, We'll, we'll have fun with all kinds of other titles, but, uh, well, if you enjoy uh, an obsessive-compulsive uh, gaming session, you're always welcome to come and watch one of mine. See you next time. soundtrack.